what's up guys war here welcome back to the channel so i know that we're a couple months into season 27 and it's been a, an absolute blast but i know everybody gets to a stopping point or where they're just kind of casually playing but today i wanted to bring you the rainbow goblin farming route that i like to run i still don't have the cosmetic uh you know butterfly wings or rainbow wings whatever you want to call them they're the cosmic wings i still don't have them so but first things first there is a couple builds that you want to do for this you want to have a very very fast build now the monk build is by far the best i'm not playing monk this season so i can't showcase it but that build video will be down in the description below but we have another one we have crusaders i mean people are shitting on crusaders and satyrs is going to be good for something i'm telling you okay and this might be it for this season okay with the thor speeds build that everybody has been loving and this has been a super fun build of mine this is going to get around the map really really fast and just kind of destroy things now i will say this that if you are going to use the thor speeds build you have to be very careful because you have to listen for those goblins otherwise you're going to accidentally auto cast you know uh fist of the heavens and destroy it so um but you could do that and before you go in invite some friends in and just kind of help everybody out so uh there's the thor speeds build there's the monk um infinite dash build which is really good you could do dh which would be awesome gears or the new um multi-shot demon hunter which would be really strong anything that's super fast oh one that's really good if you're a witch doctor main is the the chicken one just running around as a chicken to kind of check for everything but i'm going to be showcasing the thor build today so let's go over uh what we're gonna need for this run okay first things first is you're gonna go into sound in your options guys and if you do not have enable sound on please just turn this on i like the sounds in the game i know a lot of people don't like it but definitely do that and turn your volumes up especially the effects volume as well as just master volume so you can hear it turn uh music volume down so that way you can hear the goblins go uh -huh, uh -huh, the sounds and all that that was really bad but you can hear the goblin sounds so we got that now we're only going to be accessing four acts today we're doing act one act two act three and act five there's nothing in act four so let's get started normally i like to start at act one we're going to go to southern highlands okay and we're going to be looking for the caves okay we're looking for the caves and we're going to be looking for going through level one and two now the caves can spawn anywhere okay on here there's a lot of a lot of places that they'll spawn but you just kind of kind of run around and do it now this build is really really fast uh what is it caves of the moon clan is what we're looking for guys so if we can find these and i can stop embarrassing myself really quickly there we go caves of the moon clan so when you get to the caves of the moon clan there's can be one that can spawn on the outside here right around it but if that doesn't spawn you're going to go into caves we're going to do one and two a goblin can spawn in uh both levels so we're just going to run through and look for the goblin hopefully we can get a couple for the video which would be awesome but you're literally just looking for the goblin that is it nothing else i haven't heard it this is awesome it can always spawn one you know obviously the spawn rates are really low but it does have a really good chance of spawning goblins uh it is going to be a little tough because i got to pay attention to the thing so we didn't find one on level one let's go to two come on game don't disappoint me give me some for the video i'm just kidding guys but hopefully we do get a couple i mean come on I'm not ready yet all right okay so nothing on level two after that we're gonna go to northern highlands that's the second spot but for efficiency is the reason we're doing this route because it's really fast on northern highlands you're gonna search everything on this bottom floor every spot around this bottom floor you're looking for a, a goblin and then we're gonna go up above here into leorix on the top is what it's called and you're looking for one that can spawn at the top so we're just riding around now you don't have to explore every nook and cranny boom see there we go we got one that was just an insufferable but you can see there goes one so once you find it you just go to the next spot you don't have to go too far because of the sound effect you can see them or hear them from a couple frames over and there we go there goes our other one so another uh what is this udius collector so that's the second one there you could keep looking if you wanted to but typically it only spawns one 
Now, I will mention while you're going through here that a cave can spawn up here. And you can definitely search the cave. Here we go. You could search the Highlands Cave for one if you really wanted to. You don't have to, but you know what? For the sake of the video, we'll search. It's just a quick little cave, but there is a chance that a goblin can spawn in here. So let's just check. Like, you know, why not, right? If it's here, it's just a quick little cave. And you can get through it and, uh, you know, maximize your chances. I would definitely recommend, like, for efficiency, like, to not do this one. But if you really wanted to, you definitely could. Because, I mean, there is a lot of, like, different ways it can run. But otherwise, you're not really going to find anything here. You know, it's a small chance, but, you, you know, it's worth a shot, I think. Okay. So, we're done with Highlands. Then I like to go to the Weeping Hollow, guys. That's the next one. Weeping Hollow, very easy. When we come to the Weeping Hollow, we're just going to make a big circle and check for goblins. Big circle and check for goblins. Again, you don't, you're not going into any caves here. You're just kind of running around and listening for that goblin noise. But this place is very, very good. Again, guys, when it comes to efficiency for goblin or, you know, farming, the best way is to do it in groups. And there is definitely a big group that... Um, does these runs in Diablo and you can join that group I'm also a part of that group and you can maximize your chances to find it you have every single person take an act and then you just you know when somebody finds it you let somebody know down in chat and boom then you're done so it looks like we didn't find one here guys which is okay you know we searched most of the map we could check the last little bit when I talk about the screens over, like we're here, we should be able to hear right in this dark area. We should be able to hear a goblin there if there is one. But there's not, and that's okay. Just double checking. Okay, so done with Weeping Hollow. We're going to go to the Royal Crypts. We got Royal Crypts and one other place, guys, for Act 1. When, when you get to the Royal Crypts, guys, all you're going to do is run straight ahead. At this point here... You're able to hear a goblin on this side or this side, but if you really want to check, you definitely can. Because they'd be right there in that corner. But you can 100% hear them. Typically, they'll spawn in one of those corners, or while you're running through here, they're going to be spawning at the end of this run on the right. So tip... See? Boom. Right here on the right. Treasure Goblin. All right, so that's Leoric or the Royal Crypts. Now we go to Cathedral Level Two. We're looking for the passageway to Leoric's uh, Manor. So that's the one we're looking for. It's pretty easy. Normally, it's right around as soon as you spawn in, and boom, another collector, which is great. It's not rainbow, but that's okay. Um, but that's typically it. This is a very short run because now we're at the end, and that's it. So that will conclude Act 1, guys. Let's go back here so we don't have the lightning. But that concludes Act 1, guys. So now we're going to go to Act 2. There's only one place that we're going to do here in Act 2, and is that is the Ancient Waterways. Okay, we're going to be doing both the Western and the Eastern Channel because they spawn goblins. Very easy. You're just running through. You're going to try to check everything try to hear some goblins this run is very very fast as well because these these uh, waterways are very short they're not very long you can just run straight through these so, oh and there goes a goblin we got another insufferable and remember guys the insufferables are the ones that um, can drop you pets I believe and I think I have all the pets that you can get from those guys which is kind of cool but that goes one goblin we're going to check level two and we're going to do the same thing on the eastern channel so done there Oop, we almost died but again guys these routes are, are very very fast very easy to run through and boom that's it that's level two so then we just go right back and we're going to check level or the eastern one i believe that we just did western right so we go check eastern we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to run straight through. This is fast and efficient, guys. We're not doing anything else. 
We're just running through. In those middle points, you just run straight down the middle. You should be able to hear the goblins, no problem. Done there. Come back. I freaking love this build. It is amazing. This build is great. I will say, though, that the Dash Monk build is the best one for this. It is the fastest. Even faster than this one. And there goes our goblin. Alright, so we didn't get anything there. Now we just got to find another collector. That's crazy. We found a bunch of those today, huh? Now we're just looking for the ending so we can find level 2. But you can see these are very fast. Very fast. Oh my gosh. I guess we'll grab these. Very fast and efficient, guys. There's nothing to these runs. Very easy. Level 2, I think, is even shorter than level 1. And we're just going to burn right through it. Easy peasy. Super fast. Yep, all done. So that concludes Act 2, guys. Is just the Ancient Waterways. In Act 3, we're only going to one place. We're going to the Bridge of Kozilek. And we're looking for the Caverns. Not the Caves of Frost, but the Caverns, okay? These spawn right off the bat. They should be right here around the entrance when you spawn. They can spawn here. You can kind of go off to this side. They can spawn down there. If you... Oh, there goes a goblin just chilling. That's cool. Random spawn. Love that. If the caves or caverns don't spawn off to the right, they're going to spawn over here to the left. We just got to find them. We just got to do a better job about finding them. Oh, come on. I always hate, like, finding these. There we go. So we got Caverns of Frost. That's what we want, guys. Caverns of Frost. And we're going to go through here, and we're going to do levels 1 and 2. They both have a chance to spawn a goblin, which is fantastic. If you get the caves, however, you just leave. You just go on to the next place because the caves isn't going to spawn one. You want the caverns. This is also really good to find um, an item for the Staff of Herding, which is awesome. You can find that on level 2. But we are just looking for a goblin. Oh my god, what a dead end that is. Holy crap, what a dead end. Amazing. We gotta double all the way back, guys. That sucks. Alright. But we are cruising, though. Oh my god. Of course, I go to every nook and cranny that isn't the next level. Easy peasy. All right, on to level two. And level two is where you find the monster right there that can give you the Staff of Hurting item, which is great. There she is. And then it doesn't look like there's a goblin, which is perfectly okay. Okay, so no goblin. So that's going to conclude Act 3. Remember, guys, there's nothing in Act 4. We're going straight to Act 5 at the Pandemonium. Uh, levels 1 and 2. Pandemonium loops level 1 and 2. Now here's the thing with these. If there's one that spawns, a second one will spawn automatically. Guaranteed. So if you find one, you're going to get a second one. If you don't find any, you get none. Obviously. Gosh. Gosh, Warlug. Oh, there goes one goblin right there. Boom. Got a gem horror. So we're guaranteed to find another one. Guaranteed. And it's going to be easy. We're hoping for a rainbow. Can we get one for the video? Come on. Let's get one for the video. That would be great. Come on, Diablo. Don't let me down. Again, guys, this route is... There goes the second one. Just a gem one. That's okay. Just a gem one. So that's level one. You can do level two, but we found the two goblins, so you're not going to get another one on level two. But if you wanted to, you could go through and double check. In all my time that I've been farming, I have not found more goblins on the second level after finding them on level uh, one. All right, so to recap, and act one, we're doing Southern Highlands, looking for the, uh, the Moon Veil. What is it? The Moon? 
Moon Clan Clay Cave, Northern Highlands, you're going to do the bottom and the top, Weeping Hollow, Big Circle, Royal Crypt, you're going to go all the way to the end, Cathedral Level 2, look for Leork's Passage on the stairs, uh, in Act 2, you got the Ancient Waterways, both Western and Eastern, Act 3, you have the Bridge of Corsic, you're going to be looking for the Caverns, not the Caves, and then nothing in Act 4, go to Act 5, and you have Pandemonium Fortress Level 1 and 2. Let me know if you guys do have the Galaxy Wings, or if you're helping people, or if you don't, let's form a search party, let's find these Galaxy Cosmetic Wings. Remember, they are the rare, rarest drop in the game. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like, and if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. All the support is absolutely awesome. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy hunting. Peace.